This episode of Jack is brought to you by Weaver Leather. So it's been 12 days of Jack being lame. It's been 14 days since we videotaped last time, and I wrote him two days after the last videotaping. He was fine the first day, and the second day I brought him out here, and I rode him around, trotted five times one direction, and then loped six times that same direction, reversed directions, and did the same thing the other way. I noticed that there was an area of the arena where the footing was a little bit hard, and he felt like he shortened up his stride, so I made a mental note to stay away from that, but I didn't really notice anything big until I took him inside, and when I walked him up into the concrete aisle way, I noticed he took a funny step. And I went ahead and started to unsaddle him. I unhooked the breast collar, and then my husband walked by, Jesse, and I asked him if he would lead him off while I videotaped him to see what little bit there was there. And to my surprise, he walked off really lame. You know, probably a seven or an eight on a scale of one to 10. And so he's been off and he's either been in a stall or in a very small pen because he was getting a little crazy in the stall. And he's looking better, but he's not quite right yet. You can see just a little bit of a head bob right through there because he's still not quite right. Now, he was lame. He was really lame at a walk when I say he was lame. Now he's you know, mildly sore at a jog, so he's greatly improved. The farrier did come and take a look at him because I was wondering if maybe he had stepped on a rock while I was riding him. And he did find a spot on his heel that was really sensitive and he would jerk away but we're not 100% sure. And I'm gonna to talk to his owner, Greg, at the beginning of this week, and we'll make a game plan whether we continue with just the stall rest or whether we go ahead and take him to a vet. Join us next week for another episode of Jack.